Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Design Cut Build. I'm Mark Humphreys and today we're doing a quick tutorial on how to build these hitch covers. And all we're using today is some 2x2 two two square tubing with a 3 16 wall and some 3 16 flat plate. So before we begin actually cutting out all these parts to make up our hitch covers, we kind of wanted to explain the design process that went into building these. So we just took some simple DXF images that we found on the internet and we brought them into TorchMate CAD. Uh, if you find the DXF, you can just bring it in through the importer or you can actually find like a black and white silhouette image um, on the internet and then just import it in and do a scan and trace wizard import. Um, so that's what we did for all of these designs. Um, to actually, on multiple designs, there on two of the designs, the moose and the deer, we actually did like a plug weld on them. So we actually drilled a hole in the deer, then we actually cut out the holes in the moose antlers, and we did a plug weld so that we could stack both of them on top of each other. So that way it was like a multifaceted design. Um, for the actual dimensions of the hitch to make sure it actually fits in your truck or SUV, uh, we googled, we did a simple Google search just to see the dimensions of the hitch cover, of most common hitch covers. So the 2x2 two two square tubing worked perfect and most hitch covers um, actually have a 5 8 hole. So we just put in a 5 8 drill bit and we just drilled in the 5 8 hole about a quarter of an inch in from the very edge of the square tubing. And we tacked it all together and uh, threw it on our SUVs and trucks and it worked out great. So let's start cutting. We took the designs over to the Torchmate 4800 and we cut them out at about 85 amps at about 100 inches per minute. And we actually had six total cutouts, two of which will be laid on top of the other two to make up a single hitch cover with multiple colors and multiple levels of metal. And right now we're taking them over to the grinding station where we can grind off all the dross accumulation on the back of the parts and prep them all for paint. We actually had two different approaches to welding the two designs that make up a single hitch cover. One we would do before we painted, just like we're doing with the Nevada and the Deer design, and then one of them we would weld after we painted. The difference is kind of negligible, the welds kind of poke through, and then you know, just as much time repainting those was the same amount of time that we took in doing the Scotch Blue Painter's Tape uh, to make up the two different colors of paint on the Nevada and the Deer design. So it all depends on your specific design and how many colors are going to be on it. And now we're cutting the five inch sections of two by two square tubing on the chop saw. Then we're going to take them up to the drill press with a five eighths drill bit. And we're going to sink that hole about a quarter inch from the edge. So marking the very center of your hole is going to be nine sixteenths from the very edge of your square tubing. And now we're in the final step where we're taking that square tubing and we're tack welding the design onto the very front. And if you're already tack welding on a painted design, just make sure you have good solid tacks. The first layer of metal, um, if you have the design in front of that, you actually won't see any heat effective zone on the very front surface finish of the design, so you should be good. And then on the designs where we have a single color of paint for the hitch cover, we're able to just tack them and then use our spray paint later on and then finish them off with the spray paint as our final step. We hope you enjoyed this build project, and if you did, let us know about it in the comments section below. And if you haven't already, subscribe to our YouTube channel here. To watch last week's video, click here. And as always, you can find this build project and many others on fabricationforum.com under the DIY section. We'll see you next time.